Alright guys, so for today's video, quite a simple question I'm going to answer, or two I guess, and that is what is the minimum effective load for one arm pull up training, as well as the optimal frequency for one arm pull up training. I think I've gotten this question a while back, but at the time I was doing a bunch of testing, so I didn't want, want to really give an inconclusive answer, where it was just, yeah, like you can do this, but this also works, or, you know, have it be a bit all over the place and I didn't really have all the information but now I've tested out a bunch of things I've seen what works and what doesn't work and I'm fairly confident that I have a pretty good answer for anyone that pursues the one arm pull up obviously there are anomalies and people that go very far be you know beyond the range or you know are very different but this should work for the average guy that wants to pursue the one arm pull up and that's not really the average guy at all but you know the average one arm pull up pursuing athletes I suppose so to start off the, the first thing was about the minimum effective load. And I have tested our systems where I've done this, so one arm pull-up training once per week, but I wouldn't recommend it. When I initially tested out one session per week, I felt a, a lot stronger and I really thought that this is it. This is like a hack for like how to pursue the one arm pull-up. But I quickly realized that it really wasn't the training, it was more so me coming off of a two, three times per week cycle. With that having more rest, I also had like went into summer vacation and like traveled a bunch. So there was less overall volume in terms of like cardio, in terms of like heavy physical training and all of that. So I think the rest, once I like a week or two into this, got the rest from lower volume of training, generally speaking, that's what kicked in and made it feel like I was really getting strong. But a couple more weeks in and it wasn't really feeling that productive at all. If anything, I felt as I was stagnating or even declining a bit. So based on what I've tested myself, I wouldn't recommend it. And also in line with sort of common skills training um, advice, it wouldn't really be be a great thing to aim for. Usually for skills training you should go for minimum twice per week and although the one arm pull up is a very strength intensive skill it's still a skill so I would go for for two times a week so make sure you have at least two times a week yeah but make sure it's also not too high volume you want to have exercises that you know work well for you exercises that mean you have to push yourself exercises that aren't really super easy and you get by in a session just like chilling through you have to exert yourself the high intensity but you're able to do them at least the current capacity you have and you're able to take long rest times so that you have those high intense sets it doesn't have to be a lot of total volume that's not what we're aiming for but a frequency of twice per week is the minimum effective load i would recommend then for the other question about the optimal training frequency the ideal training frequency here i would say that it's perhaps a bit closer to two, three times per week. If you have lower volume, you could even like lower volume in terms of your other training outside of one up pull up training, you could even be doing a bit more than two, three times a week. Three, four times a week, although it sounds like you might be pushing it, could work because it's a great frequency for skill adaptation and learning. But here you have to make sure if you go that high, you have to make sure that the, uh, the volume is very low for each session. We're talking five, six reps per arm of a particular exercise and that's it, or like in total with all your exercises. So whether that's like two negatives and two full attempts and two like isometric holds, that would be like a good session. That would be a big session for one of these three, four days, right? If you do three sessions a week, I think that's more around like the ideal frequency, perhaps two larger sessions, but still larger sessions would be six, seven, eight reps of an exercise and like high intensity, good rest. And then you could do a third smaller session just to gain a bit more volume. And even on off days, not every day, but like that third session could include like, let's say three, four reps of a particular exercise and some hanging. Like get used to just hanging on the bar from one arm, right, and get used to that unilateral ability. So I hope that sums it up quite well. For the minimal training frequency, I would absolutely say twice a week. And yeah, you don't have to have very long sessions, but you have to have a decent rest time. So it will drag it out a bit more perhaps than your other, your other strength training, like three to five minutes for rest times would be would be a good amount. And if you're, if you're doing really intense stuff, like keep it at five pretty much, like four to five minutes, I wouldn't go any lower than that. And yeah, for ideal training, try three times a week if you haven't already. I mean, if, if, it, if it seems like too much, ease into it with like two main sessions and uh, one little sub session, sub session in there, like a smaller one, and just bring in some more hanging, some more perhaps a few isometric holds, keep it neat, keep it good, and make sure you're not pushing yourself to the point where like CNS fatigue will absolutely ruin you. And this is not really a danger if you go up progressively, 
if you suddenly make a massive jump in terms of like you're doing isometric holds one week like just body weight and then next week you want to add on like a kettlebell with like five kilos eight kilo four kilos eight kilos like a big big difference like that isn't an optimal way to go build it up gradually it's boring sometimes i know but you'll get there just be patient <laughs>